Hey guys, how's it going? Jay Sensational here, welcome back to the channel. Today I wanted to highlight a deck that has been performing pretty well within the meta and has, you know, a pretty decent popularity backing it up. I believe this deck is around like the 6th, 7th most played deck right now on ladder, at least in a uh, Platinum Plus, and has been showing some pretty good stats for it. And this deck is Ziggs Talia. Um, this is a very solid mid-range deck that focuses a lot on the landmark synergy. And for a couple of reasons why I think it's doing really good right now is first, Quicksand is phenomenal against a lot of decks right now. It's just a very good stall card, allowing you to remove Elusive, Overwhelm, things like that. So against like the Victor uh, combo decks, Quicksand is a really good tool against that in addition to the Hexplosive Minefield that allows you to stun like a big Augment unit. And I think that matchup overall is still generally unfavored, but these two tools are, can, are very, very good. Also, having access to a 3-mana deal 4 is just very good as well. Being able to pop Aphelios, being able to pop Riven, Victor, um, Zareth, a lot of things just die to deal 4s. So Rive Arcane is really good within this deck as well. Against Mono Shrima, we do have the opportunity to play Desert Naturalist onto their Sundus if they so don't have a way to protect it. Um, that's far in between, but this card is definitely just a really, really solid tempo card. When you destroy a landmark, it summons a Grumpy Rock Bear, and in conjunction with the Endless Devout, which gets the Sarcophagus, you get an extremely high tempo play by summoning the Devout alongside the 5-4 off the Desert Nationalist. What I think this deck also does very well is it has a pretty solid way of closing out games. Ziggs by itself, once leveled, actually represents a lot more burn than I think most people give it credit for. This deal to each time a landmark is destroyed is very easy to deal upwards of like 8-10 damage in the late games. So this is a very, very good access to burn that a lot of decks don't really have and can't really counter as well. In addition to Talia, when you give Talia Overwhelm from either the Absolver or Harrow Magus, her ability to get through your opponent's blockers with her ability of just dealing uh, 6 to the enemy blocker is just very, very powerful as well. So a very good way of closing out games and a very good tempo play if you use this on a card like Devout. And then finally, to close things off, we do have one arsenal in our late game. This is generally a pretty slow card that definitely doesn't like merit needing more than one copy of it. But in a lot of matchups, I have found that being able to play this on turn 8, turn 9 is a very good way of closing out the games because it just gets 7, 8 keywords. So think of this as an extra pantheon within your deck. But the ability to just generate out really solid tempo plays with either destroying and summoning the Hexos of Minefield, or destroying and summoning the Sarcophagus off of the Endless of Out, um, provides for some really, really cool plays. And overall, I really like the feel of this deck. It's very solid. It's a very cool tempo deck that plays a little bit differently and has a lot different synergies to what I think a lot of the other decks out there really aim to do. So definitely a very interesting deck while also being a very fun and pretty decent deck at the moment. So I do urge you guys to give it a try to see what it's all about. But I'll leave it to you there. I'll catch you guys, I'll catch you guys with some games and I hope you guys enjoy the video. But thank you guys so much for supporting the channel. Please do leave a like and subscribe. It really helps me out. Really appreciate it. I'll catch you guys tomorrow with the next one. Peace out guys and take care. Arsenal so far has been just like winning us games like left and right. Maybe it deserves to be a two of. Kindred Mark goes away for enter stasis. That's a little bit different, right? Because Stasis Statue obliterates the unit, but like retains an exact copy of it. So I can obliterate. No, I, I guess that shouldn't be any different. I don't know. I'm gonna do that play on Arsenal. But did you Talia like the landmark? Like, did you Talia the Hourglass? Gaming's unit's vulnerable is kind of pointless now. But it does like rock my champs. I didn't. Mm. Yeah, I, I think it's something between the Talia and summoning. It has to do something with Talia, I think. Do you have Chain Vest? Let's go. It's like when t when Arsenal comes out of Hourglass, it 
should double its keywords. Like, I think that most people can agree on. But what happened there was just kind of weird. <laughs> Did he not expect him to block? What's going on? White flame, All right? <laughs> you got it, buddy. Sure. As long as we like keep this white flame weak, I think like at least try to go after it if we want. Oh, we can just Talia after it next turn. Like this Talia is sick. Like we just Talia at it, and then like we're pushing a lot of damage to the white flame, and even potentially killing it. Oh, unleash energy, one man off, unfortunately. And also gets all the keywords, he gets a lot of impact. Yes, I am aware of that. I do know that. It's kind of hard for him to keep his white flame alive here. Is that true? Worst case scenario, it trades. Is that bad? Is it bad for us if he just trades? Okay. Really sucks that we didn't have Unleash this turn. Like, this white flame is dying this turn. Guaranteed. If he doesn't have, like, another buff card, he loses on the spot. Um, good draw. Or good card, rather. But, like, we're fine here. We're chilling. Like, him training off the white flame was pretty good for us. Like, our board is cracked. I think he's dead next turn. Because, like, he can only play one unit, and then he, like, dies. Oh, he's so dead. He's so dead. Oh my god. Oh, I don't have any landmarks. Ooh, I'm gonna play the Preservarium just to have an Unleashed target. Oh, damn. It's unfortunate. What if I kill this guy? It might be worth just killing the 3-2 right here. And make my open attack just lethal. I think I'd rather just have Leaf on the open and force him to do something. And I have Bright. I can like... Like... I'm like, alive. Or at least I can prevent him from not dying. Like, even if he has like a judgment here, it, he's still losing. Greed? This isn't greed. This is like not greed. I have mana for both of these. That's so crazy. We should always win here. Fashion into concerted. I'm not gonna BM him. Yeah, that like ultra fast Talia level up into forcing him to like throw away his white flame was like really solid. Most times, like, I shouldn't need more than one arsenal. I have like the hourglass, I have like quicksand, or I have ride negation. Like, it's so rare you play like Arsenal on 8 and then like Arsenal on 9, right? Nice. Ooh, not bad. Lots of burn today. I mean, that's no different from yesterday and the day before. You all just realize burn is good into. Oh, but he's playing Ballistic Bot. That's a new one. Oh no, he's just Draven Rumble. But this is a pretty decent spot. We're in a pretty decent spot, because like he's gonna develop Rumble on his attack token, and then we have Hourglass. Did 
debating actually dragging here so I have the option to play Desert Naturalist, but I don't think that's the plan. Like, next turn, if I don't play this, I can just go like this into this as well. He plays like Rumble. Now, the issue is we don't have an answer for Rumble, and that's the scariest part. Okay, fair enough. But, like, he's not playing that. This hand is amazing. This hand's pretty decent. Six is a decent draw, too. Like, he, he just doesn't really have an attack here. And I could get punished if he, like, has, like, a second flame tromp and just, like, discards them all. I'm also just not doing much from my side either. It's kind of tough. Like, he just gets a push 2 damage here for free. And we're not really doing anything. Good draw. That was a really good draw. I don't want to see what he does here. We need to be very scared of like a, like a Might or Ambush. We don't have a... Uh... Oh, we should play this now so we can unleash energy at next turn. Yeah, that's what we're going to do. We want to play this this turn. Just so we have a counter to like a open Might. We don't need Ziggs. I think I'm pretty fine with this trade. I think. I'm pushing a lot of damage. Like, this is still a race. Six doesn't love. I don't know. I don't know. It's tough. Oh, we just draw quicksand too. Mm. We're also just dying here. So these can out race. Yeah, maybe. Maybe I just threw him away. I feel like I was supposed to block here and do this. Uh, it's tough. This outcome is still relatively okay though. This is no worst case scenario. Still pretty bad though. How oh, are you? Ugh. Can we randomly burst out lethal? So like this is a fearsome. Oh, this is lethal. Wow. If he doesn't play another fearsome blocker, it's just lethal. Of course, he could have like a might card or something like that to buff, but okay, I'm just gonna go for lethal then. He has like something, it sucks, but I think this is a pretty good sort of a, like a moment to take advantage of this fact that I can maybe try to push lethal. Like, he needs to kill us. Alright. Alright, it's like... Unleash Energy is such a cool card. I love the design of that card. Mm. Does he have 5 burn in hand? Uh. <laughs> uh. He might have, like, get excited and mystic and it's gonna be weird. 
Oh, what a top deck! We're such a god. <laughs> oh, the second Poke Stick was like the chair in the top. Okay. Because now we actually beat, like, Get Excited Mystic. Right top deck. Right would have also been, like, very good. Either right or, like, the second Pokey. <laughs> Aren't we glad we just threw those cards into our deck? We gave ourselves some outs there. Marin Chori, what's up, buddy? How you doing, man? Welcome to the stream. Thanks for stopping by. Azir Rally has some like pretty popular ladder stats right now, which is kind of cute. I don't know if this card is actually good or not in this matchup. Like, yeah, I can make their champ plays awkward. But sometimes you just like play Blade Dance cards into it and you feel really sad. I might keep one of them just to see. And it looks kind of garbo. Six. Mm, yeah, the ancient prop with the Azir. What was I saying about Azir really? Oh, yeah, it was it was showing up on like ladder stats pretty well. People are experimenting with more landmarks with foreign words and stats. Really? Okay. I thought it'd be like the other way around. Kind of surprised. I feel like the landmarks would do better. Are they replacing? They're, but they're not replacing like sparring student with like ancient prep, are they? I don't know what this version of the deck looks like, but it's cool to see just uh, I guess how popular this deck has gotten. Not popular, but how experimental it has gotten since Caesar buff. I think that's like one of the coolest parts. Now this is awkward because like if he attacks next turn, like a sand soldier like bites the dust. If he shape stones me, am I sad? Uh no, because then he still has to develop a unit. It's not like he can't open attack and he has to play a unit. If he played like a blade dance card, it gets off regardless. So now he can't like open attack to summon a sand soldier and he has to play like something else. Which is sort of what I was aiming for. Like he's still forced to play a unit here into this. And if it was like a play dance card, it's the same outcome for me regardless. Go to stream cards to Whoa! Let's go! <laughs> oh yeah, that that worked out so well for me. Very happy about that. Now the issue here is, um, he could simply just have, like, another shape stone. I kind of want to do this now. I get punished by twin. It's awkward. It's like, if I play this now, I can't, like, do this. If I play Devout, he gets to attack a second time with Aurelia, though. Like, him attacking twice the Relia, or him actually attacking the Relia feels kinda bad. But I feel like it's probably the best line. I need to do this, I need to do this before he casts this. Recall? Uh, recall is like, fine. I guess it has Vulnerable, so I don't want it to recall before I attack it. Okay, that's fair. Okay, we'll just block two Sand Soldiers on. Oh, but this is... ah. Mm -hmm. It sucks. It feels like he has like a... Uh, some combat trick if he's doing that. Ordering. Ancient prep. I just go after it straight away. There's no real point in playing Sigs here. It, it could be I push more damage. Let's keep my options open in case I want to write this turn. I feel like twins here. I can just write back. <laughs> I need to make sure this Aurelia dies. I think that's just priority number one here. <sighs> Cannot kill Azir.
That's awkward. That's unfortunate. Hourglass is really good here, though. Hourglass lets me save my zigs, and then I can start racing. Like, unless he has, like, a second Aurelia, or, like, Blade Dance cards here, we're not super scared. <sighs> Defiant? If we Hourglass, does it... It doesn't fizzle, right? No, it doesn't. Oh, that's so annoying. Well, that's cracked. Tell the people what you have seen today. Your Emperor commands. Not the people, yeah, not the people. <laughs> Anything but that. Damage. It's a lot of damage. So I could Hourglass just to activate Magus, or I could just play Preservarium. I don't know. Like, maybe I need to start counting damage. Pokestick is a fantastic draw. I could have also blew up their Deus. Like, that was actually a consideration as well. Like, maybe I should have thought about, like, blowing up their Deus. I actually think that was potentially better. Mm, I didn't think hard enough about that. Like, maybe I'll just blow this up. Like, maybe the damage net is, like, better. Like, he didn't have, like, a Blade Dance card last turn. Like, he played Defiant, right? Yeah. Maybe we should have full swung, too. Ah! Be full swung. I'm not count I'm not even counting my damage. This is, like, kind of poor. Trade? Hog? You want to trade? I should have full slung, I think. Homecoming? It's not a homecoming. Uh, just please, like, twin your Zir. I don't want to see a homecoming here. Yeah. Uh... I probably don't hourglass you. I don't... I... I don't know, like, maybe I'll supposed to hourglass that? It's so weird. So if I full swing, I would have pushed... four more damage. He'd be at seven. I have four here, he'd be at three. Okay. That wasn't quite lethal. I kind of wish I had Zareth here. Like, Zareth would, like, kind of kick butt here. I also think I should have hourglassed this. Just so I could have the body on board next turn. This card is kind of confusing. This might be like a second homecoming, some spell. I could probably play you. It's pretty good. We can replay six too if you trade it off. Not quiet. Oh, quicksand! What a card. Whew. Like, Quicksand can deny their Sandsoul from connecting, which is huge. <laughs> so, attacking with the five wide board, we have Quicksand to deny the Sand Soldiers. We can also Pokey Stick one of these if we need to. We're fine going down to four for now and being reactive later. So he top deck this, right? So this is still his last card. 
could be like a offensive card as well. Right now. So I could play Desert Naturalist. That's really good for us. At least a card draw, but I don't think that's that relevant. I could also blow up his Deus, and it's like the same thing, sort of. I still don't hate blowing up his Deus. I should have done this a while ago. I kind of want the card draw. It's like, I feel like the outcome here overall is relatively the same. Unless he has like a last blade dance card. Let's play Arsenal and roll lifesteal. Yeah, that's a pretty good outcome too. Like, this isn't good for him. Like, is he gonna Absolver me? Oh, it was Absolver! Let's go! <laughs> That's so funny. Ah, uh, got him. Got him, boys. Uh, give two enemies. Minus. Minus. Got him. Sort of. Do we just, like, save Ziggs and then play Arsenal? Because we push four that way, and then Arsenal having seven keywords is pretty solid. This might be, like, stupid, but it seems pretty funny. Save for Arsenal, but we're ending the game next round. Like, if we don't win next round, then, like, I think we lose regardless. And run spell shield. I don't believe in top decks. Or should we just play Herald? Oh god. <laughs> should we just play Herald, guys? Uh, nah. You guys didn't just come here to see some bad plays. <laughs> what? Scout? Lifesteal? Spell shield overwhelm? Very quick attack. <laughs> oh god. Ah, uh, that's an arsenal, guys. That is, that's like the seven best keywords. Is there any better keyword on here? Maybe like elusive instead of the fearsome. Like this is six of like this, like like six best keywords in the game. Oh my god. Freaking wild. Oh, let me just stop. Uh... <laughs> he did. He top decked the homecoming. <laughs> oh my god. Jesus Christ. That was some suspect play from my side. Thank god I high rolled, huh? Might struggle a little bit against Burn, though. We'll see hand. Pretty decent. Ziggs is just a fat blocker. Ooh, quicksand as well. Can't bank that, unfortunately. It's very hard to bank three mana with our curve. Like, we'll have it on his turn five attack. That's pretty late. And we have nothing to do next turn, that also sucks. Unless, let's go! What a top deck. Whew. Some hot stuff. Yep. Ooh, Red Arcane. Also some hot stuff.
We'll valley trade off here and then we can ride of arcane this when we want to. I'll just develop Ziggs first, and then we have like Quicksand for his next attack turn, which would be very, very sweet. Oh, what a draw. This'll be a blast. Wants to trade off Ziggs for a Pokey Stick? This block seems really weird. I'm not quite sure what the opponent's planning on. Yasuo Celestial Wonder when? Um, I sort of did Yasuo Felios in the past couple days. You should see that on YouTube. Well, I guess not yet, but you see it on YouTube on like Monday or something. Uh, it's not like exactly a Celestial Wonder, like specific really it's not like a all-in on this celestial wonder kind of card because the synergy there is not that not that great just need a second just need a second another six let's go Like six quicksand. Oh, just open the attack. Okay. Could like quicksand just deny two damage. It's not very necessary. If it is necessary, then like I'll cry my tears over it later. Play six. Hell yeah. Yo, unhelpful Yoda, what's up, buddy? How you guys doing tonight? Hope you guys are having a pleasant evening. Why does Ziggs have 4 health? That is a very good question that I don't think has been answered yet. Oh, what a draw. Um, we can't proc it this turn, unfortunately. Riven has 4 health. But Ziggs is like on steroids. Like, look at what Ziggs does. Ziggs doesn't need to be a 4-4. Or 3-4. He's a champ. That is also true. Champs are usually just better statted. That's... Close to factual, actually. And Ziggs is just a really, really good follower. And Ziggs is better than a 4-4th impact. <laughs> yeah, that's not happening, buddy. Ziggs is better than 4 4th impact because it levels. He, he does so much burn when he levels, it's actually crazy. That doesn't actually work. There's level 2 to kill you, it's high deck building costs. Um, it is high, but I think there are a lot of things that are very synergistic with it. Which makes it, like, surprisingly good. Something that would be, like, high deck building costs and, like, not actually that good would be something more like... Uh... Like, Zillion, right? Now that's a gross, um... Simplification, but... Also, also to an extent as well. I think this, like you have Talia, you have like Enraveled Earth, you're just in Shrima. Like you have Rive Arcane, you have Endless Devout. Like you just have a lot of really good cards with it. This is Sessions Vi. Yes, this is Sessions Vi. Open Enraveled. Oh, you're right. I forgot about that. Well, I mean, it's not, it's not 
necessary, but that was pretty good. It's not even that good. It kind of clocks up my board space. Oh, that's good, though. Were people playing on ladder today? I think it's still the same. Like, people are just on Monoshima, Felios, and Victor Piles. It's kind of it. It's a three, tri it's a triple, it's a, it's a triangle right now. I guess I can just stun you for now. Yeah, like, the meta right now is just like three decks, right? It's Mono, Shrima, it's Victor, Elusive, and it's Aphalios. And then everything in between. I think people are still very heavily on like the same decks as yesterday. But it's not gonna change like that's an understatement. The meta is gonna change day by day, but Oh that's super hot. Hey, <laughs> that's so good, what? On. What the hell is this? What? This game went pretty damn well, huh? All things considered. What? Lame. Actually lame. Wait, how did he get that card? Because he only played one Conchologist. <laughs> he main deck Scorcher in its deck. <laughs> oh my god. The burn deck is main decking Scorchers. How funny is that? It's so funny. It's actually so funny. And hey Shima, yeah. There's there's no reason why you should be main decking that card in burn. Like you just race mono Shima, you don't destroy their landmark. Quicksand is so good versus Victor to buy you time to... Oh, you mean as... Gotcha. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, th that card's nuts. Quicksand is nuts. This card is insane. I think it's an easy 2 of in like any Shreema deck at the very least. Being generating 0 mana spells is broken. It's good, rather. Yeah. I mean, the difference is not really just like spell synergy wise it's more just like you level victor faster right and you you basically save mana you save so much mana right it's just like a it's like investment it's like temple basically victor's like a budget ish temple conditionally where like you pay up four mana up front and some extra mana to do stuff um, but then, like, you save mana in the late game, and you can, like, have some really big swing turns. Shall I just also include Victor? That is true. Ooh, he's playing a cool deck. He probably runs Vile Feast, which sucks. Felios Victor is like the fourth most popular deck right now, or something like that. And then it's like Yordan Arms, and I think Talia Ziggs is actually like a close six or seven. That's kind of cool. Arsenal, let's go. Talia into Preservarium. Yeah, it's pretty good in this matchup. I think Arsenal into Hourglass just like wins this matchup as well. Like, there's so limits on the removal that if we can have like an Hourglass for the Arsenal, we just also win. Like, it's almost an auto win. <laughs> if he has like a Vile Feast here, that would really suck. Okay. 
Does that already lost all those keywords? Yes, it does. Because it counts as it's a summon effect. Oh! Wow, we're good at top decking. to play inside unfortunately. Oh it's not bad. I could have like minefield, which is alright. Maybe I should have minefield. Is that gonna give me the goat? Sure. Most five popular decks are Shrima, Monoshrima, Riven Victor, Kate S. Oh okay. I didn't realize Kate S was third. It's a good draw too. This stops him from playing Kindred this turn. It's really just Nice annoyance factor. Do I save this one for Talia? Or I just like draw into Talia next turn and I get rewarded? Alright, spacey. Slap from getting Vile Feast? Sure. But I, I think it's pretty clear he doesn't have a Vile Feast. Yeah, he also always had like Rite of Negation or Rite of Arcane for a. Uh, Freya, whatchamacallit, Kindred. Phalios sucks though. Like, me also supposed to save mana to kill a Phalios, but I'd have to burn a mana gem and that feels really bad. This is still kind of awkward, like, our past two turns are just very tempo, like, low tempo. And we're falling a little bit behind here. Like, if he Calibrums this and then he gets, like, a really mean attack there, it's actually kind of scary. Give me some real cards! <laughs> Good enough. <laughs> Crescendum? Oh, he started with Calibum. No problem. Oh, but then he can grab it on this. That's kind of no bueno. I should have played this first. Got into my head a little bit why I didn't play this first. Like I was like, oh he's gonna get Gravitum and then like, but that was silly. We didn't find our Talia for the Preservarium, so that's kind of unfortunate. Still have this, that he doesn't have the ease- uh, Ooh, That stings. I think I'm just gonna kill a fella so I have the chance. It's now he's tapped under any response to a fella, so I should just take advantage of the fact. Find Talia on Hourglass on Arsenal? Oh, that would be so epic. Please? Another Endless Valve's at least good enough for now. Raw Copper. Should have saved Mystical for Arsenal. Oh, true, true, true. Yeah, the Fool. Hopefully, he doesn't have another one. That would, like, really suck. Five on Arsenal already. You got caught. He's predicting that the Arsenal has Spell Shield, but this goes through Spell Shield. Like, this is the ultimate counter to Arsenal because it always lands. If you didn't know that, it's not a skill. You don't see the icon here. Not like none of these, none of these cards have skills. Kind of hard to show, but this doesn't have like the circle here, so it does go on stack, which means that it can't be interacted with. The 
more you know. What is that card? Hello? Another Aphelios? Sure. Where they make some cards like that? Uh, I think it's just like the choice of. They just. There's certain cards that I think would just feel bad if you could interact with them, I guess. I don't know. Like Ice Veil Archer. Should should Ice Veil Archer go on stack? I don't know. It's a good question actually. Who knows? Who has an opinion on that? Like should they just make it all consistent? I don't know. Does all freeze our burst speed? But like Hush is burst as well, right? But like I guess Hush does go through spell shield. Kinda weird. Dragon card that says F you to Celestials, yeah. This does counter a good amount of things. Like, even if it went on stack, it wouldn't be like... It's annoying. Like, even if it went on stack, it wouldn't be like... Um... Wouldn't, it's not like it would be like... Uh... Yeah, I could poke this if he decides to grab on it. Not that we have like any response to it, but... Something of his units I want to poke anyways. This is not to do anything. <laughs> God, we're just so good at. Oh, but it doesn't have a spell shield, huh? That's kind of awkward. Damn. If it had a spell shield, that'd be pretty good. If it was a skill, Blind and Mystic would miss the target because you can't see. <laughs> What sucks? I really wish we got spell shield there. Mm, what can you do? Oh, this is pretty good. Like this is a good start, right? We have scout, we have quick attack, we have challenger. Like it's gonna get overwhelmed. It's gonna get spell shield. It's gonna get like everything that we need. You have to be careful I can't like comment like the ancient hourglass card. That would be like really funny. Yeah, like some just I guess they don't want to be interacted with. And it is faster, right? I think that's a lot to consider as well. Like it just resolves and then it goes back to your opponent's turn. It's just like playing another unit, right? It's a good point, actually. He does have Vile Feast, lame. But now he can't play his Crescendum. That was like really weird. Like, he locked himself out of playing Crescendum on board. Like, he can still play it to levels of Felios, but he doesn't get value out of it. This does have regen, so it can block. It's only played one Solari that found him the Traveler. So, there's only one card he could get there. Oh, but it's stunned. Oh, we're taking a lot of damage here, huh? And it came out on the same side as Faded, right? So they wanted like a card that could like do something against Faded things as well that... I guess. I don't know like how big of a difference I would actually make, but... It does do things, at the very least. <laughs> I 
Oh, please. How, how, how do we do it, chat? How, how? We have it, but I don't, how do we? Oh, no. Wait, how? How do we bait him? Is it possible? Please just like obliterate this. Oh, please obliterate it. Please, please find Comet. Please find Comet. Please comment my arsenal, please! Please! <laughs> Gravdom locked. If he plays Gravdom, I'll also... I'll also, uh... Like, Gravdom's the same thing, basically. Like, if he Gravdom's us... We still go for the Hourglass. Not that he can. Wait, what the hell is that? Kill the Aphelios? Yeah, I should kill the Aphelios. That was my bad. What the hell is that? <laughs> oh, but now I can just Calibrum this. Ooh. He still plays the Calibrum, right? Like, he plays the Calibrum and like, finds the Gravidon. Right, guys? Is he, is he, is he like that? Oh, but if I, ah. Crap. Yeah, I, I I messed up. I was supposed to kill the Felios before he could... Because, like, I want him to, like, Calibrum this so he gets grabbed on next turn. Would he do that? Do I care? I guess it's a little bit late now. I'll just challenge a Felios with Arsenal anyways. <gasps> oh. Oh. I, I guess that works. Don't hush it though. Just don't hush. No hush. No hush. All right, that works. Fair enough. Oh. That's a pretty good turn, huh, guys? Marshall comes out stunned. Is it still stunned? It's been two turns, hasn't it? Oh, cause the. Oh, I see. Guys. I see what you guys mean. I see. Did it really come out stunned? That's so sad. Oh man. Right, cause it's yeah, yeah. I I get, I get it, I get it. That sucks. Oh, damn. We still had to go for the line there, anyways, though. Cause like, yeah. I guess a really good Calibrum. Absolver to unleash energy. I don't know if that's lethal, is it? Because, like, it's 10 plus 4 plus 4. It's only 18. It's not stunned. Hello? But oh, it doesn't have Scout. Wait, why does he have so few keywords? What? Why does he only have eight keywords? What the hell is this? What? Why does he have eight keywords? I'm so confused. Hello? What just happened? It's only a copy, but it's resummoned. Like, it should have been the exact copy. It, do it doesn't have the same keywords. Like, it's not an exact copy. It doesn't have the same keywords. Hot fix? What do you mean hot fix? Hell, huh? That's not intuitive at all. That is... That is not intuitive. He might have lethal here though. I think it's a bug from Slea Coffee. Yeah, that was bizarre to me. Like, I don't quite understand how that works, I'll be honest. I guess we might as well just pop this Absolver.
Talia doesn't know how to copy a statue. Yeah, boo, bad Talia. Go back to sculpting school or something. I don't know what I'm saying. Oh, does he have vengeance? Okay, sick. Hey, let's go! Woo! <laughs> Alright, so that's gonna conclude the video there for you guys. Hope you guys enjoyed the game. So we had some really cool ones and some really tight ones, fun ones. All of them are mixed in there. So thank you guys again for making it all the way to the end. If you guys did enjoy, please do leave a like and subscribe. It really helps me out. But I thank you guys for watching today, and I'll catch you guys tomorrow with the next video. So peace out, guys. Take care.